Well, here's one of your leaks. Right here. You see it coming out of the hose. Going up there. Hitting the tree. And there's one right there. These two are facing away from the tree here. You got two down here. You can see this one dripping. Should be facing this way. Same with this one here. You can see it's less of a drip, but it should be over here too. And so I got them all, both of those where they need to be. This one here wasn't working, so I put a new drip head on it. There's an area of moisture here and an area of moisture here. It doesn't look fresh. Um, it could be just from that one over there by the tree. See it running right there? Running so long that it's making its way down here and making a wet spot. I'll have to see how the timer is adjusted on that. Um, but the wet spot here probably has to do with a leak in this line right here that comes by this way. So, this line here has been absorbed by the tree. You can't even pull it it's going into the tree growth. What I'd have to do on this one is cut this line here and put a new head on it. So the water from out here, we don't even know if this tree is getting water because it can't pull that spaghetti strap out. <clears throat> your neighbor, which is right next to your front yard, his drip heads are all sitting on the little pedestal here. See how it snaps the drip head in so it sits up off the ground? You should have these on all of your uh, your drip heads. I don't see any, any of them like that. You've got a leak in your valve spigot here. You can see how the water drips in making this. Looks like it's dripping about once every 30 seconds. Watch. You'll see it accumulate the water. See it? The drips. I can fix that without a lot of expense. You've got a leak in here somewhere. I can hear it. Let me see if I can put my phone down there so you can hear it. That's a significant leak. It's probably what was causing it to leak out over these bricks. I'm going to sit here a few minutes and see if I can see it leak out of here. That what I thought was a leak is not actually a leak. It's a specific kind of drip head they had buried down in there. So I'll put that back down in there in a minute. But I don't know what it does for all this. That's not very adequate. In fact, it's producing green weeds. Returning to this one that I first showed you here, which I'll fix while I'm here. Um... It's producing a lot of moisture, not only here, you can see it hitting the tree, but also up here. So, this is the whopper. This is the one they referenced in your inspection report. This is right down by the lake, as you can see. And it's water that's coming out right here in the crack of the stucco which means that's really odd because this is fake grass here so what would be being watered that would cause this leak well here it is right here look at that look at that leak it's coming up from underneath this this uh, fake grass. Let me see if I can find the source for this leak. I'm going to pause it here for a second.
Look at that. Look at how much water is coming out. Okay, I've pulled this grass back, as you can see. Here's the source of your leak right here. I'm going to show you. Right here, it's bubbling up out of the ground. So we need to come back and dig down in there. See if I can reach the, uh, the leak itself. No, we're going to have to come dig this thing up it's probably six to eight inches down to repair that and hopefully it's black trunk line instead of pvc so uh but there is the source of your major leak right there whoever put this uh fake grass in should have uh should have made sure there's no water running to any of this station i guess what i could do well, no, I can't do that. Never mind. I'll, I'll get with you in a minute here. You can see right there how fast it's coming out from the ground. And see how it's flowing downwards? It puddles up down there. It's flowing faster because I got the carpet up. It, it wouldn't be flowing that fast otherwise. See this? Because I have the carpet up, it's flowing a lot faster than otherwise. See that? How it's flowing out of the wall? When the carpet's down, it just flows out this little crack here a lot slower, so it's not as bad as it looks.